Hey guys, it's me, Colin, and this is vlog two. Me, Colin, and I'm back with a video, and I've now tried this three times, but third time's a charm. We've got um, Snake here. Don't know what to call her. She's eight months old, and she's so cute. Got her yesterday, and we're going to just talk about handling. So, handling a snake after you get it, first, um, what I'd try to do is put it in a tub of water to make sure it has no mites, um, because they'll fall off. Hopefully, you'll be able to see them. And if you guys check out New England Reptile Distributors, or NERD, on YouTube, you should be able to find a video on that. And um, a lot of this I have learned by many YouTubers, so I've been testing it out. You see, she's very calm, and um, got her yesterday. She has been amazing. Um, we let her have yesterday to sit around, you know, relax, like most reptiles like to do. Um, but she's just so sweet. And the reason I love her is um, I chose her because look at this. It's like a wishbone right here. And I'm so happy that this snake lets me touch her because lots of reptiles don't like it when you touch them. Now, she will probably be a reptile ambassador if I get a job like that, which I am very much so hoping to be, or I'm hoping to get a job like that. And if they do talent show in high school, she's going to be on it, and I will post a video of that, actually. I have a friend record it for me. But if you have any ideas, please let me know on her name. But so when handling a snake, at first they're going to be kind of, and they're not going to be the best, and they're going to be kind of um, very shaky. Now, my snake, who, um, who raised her? Wasn't it? I think it's like, oh, uh. I forgot. Well, oh, it's Canyon State Constrictors. I would go check them out. There we go. I just got it. And she was, she's been amazing. And um, if they watch it, I think it's amazing. So I think that um, it's really the breeder that matters um, and just how the snake is. This snake... Um, Today was supposed to be feeding day. We couldn't get her food, um, and we're going to be getting that tomorrow. So I will be doing the feeding um, thing tomorrow after I get all my schoolwork done because it's online learning. But she's been doing amazing. Right before we had her on here, she was just curled up in a nice little stack and had her head out. And as you can see, she lets me touch her head. And things with handling them. If they're calm like this, it's amazing. And when you first pick them up, it takes a while. But once they get your scent and they realize, oh, they're not here to hurt me. They're just here. And they're pretty nice. So this snake loves to just, like, stroll around. As you can see, she's being very nice. Um, don't I don't know if she's really scared or anything. But she loves it outside of her cage. And she'll just hang out a lot. Here we go. Now, when having a snake, it's really important not to um, stress them out and make them strike at you. Um, and with these, what's amazing is they shake their tail when they're scared. This is a California king snake. That's why it's so beautiful. But... Um, Let's see if she can do it. I don't want to stress her out, though. You see her tail right here? She'll shake it like a rattlesnake against leaves so people will stay away and think it's venomous. The reason they're called king snakes is because they're the king snake. Now, king snakes, they uh, most other times will eat the top predator or, well, eat anything that fits in its mouth. California king snakes, uh, in California... They'll actually eat rattlesnakes. They'll just, I know it's pretty cool, and, oh, don't 
zip around. I want to see if she can, if she wants to stroll. But uh, she looks amazing in the sunlight. I would recommend getting one for yourself. But handling, amazing, very docile. They're like garter snakes, except live in California. So if you guys um, think that you want one, I check out Canyon State Constrictors. They have um, a thing on Morph Market. Um, I mean, it's not their full-time job, but it's amazing. They took good care, and they answered all my questions right there on Gmail. So, it's just amazing. So, I'm going to be making an intro with this little girl, a photo of her, and then a photo of me and Leapsis. So, that'll be fun to have. And I'm going to try doing some new editing stuff with my videos. And um, lately I haven't been posting with Leapsis. Leapsis in, is in that breeding mood. She's over a year old and she's getting cranky. Um, I try to take her out. She just runs wild. It's pretty weird. But I will be doing that. Um, this snake is fairly healthy right now. Besides... Today was supposed to be meal day. Um, came healthy. Came looking just like this. She had no issues. Um, but as you can see, I'm trying to get her to climb around. See, she's wrapped around my finger. Please move. She's very being very nice for the camera, which is. Kind of surprising, but she's looking around. Um, I guess this is going to be the end of the video. But remember, stay awesome. And always love reptiles.